गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप यू आर हैविंग अ ग्रेट डे एंड अ ग्रेट वीक हैप्पी दिवाली टू दोज हु आर सेलिब्रेटिंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी हार्ट एंड डबल सर्कुलेशन सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मेन पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर विच इज़ द प्रोसेस ऑफ डबल सर्कुलेशन एंड हाउ एग्जैक्टली दिस प्रोसेस अकर्स सो लेट्स जस्ट गेट राइट ऑन टू इट इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर सो मेक श्योर यू पे अटेंशन टू एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो okay so the first part is the heart the heart is one of the parts of the circulatory system the circulatory system consists of the heart blood and blood vessels the heart is a fist size organ that pumps oxygenated and deoxygenated blood to the other parts of the body it pumps oxygenated blood to the body and deoxygenated blood to the lung now oxygenated blood is the blood that has oxygen deoxygenated blood is the blood that does not have oxygen via double circulation heart can pump oxygenated blood to the other parts of the body and deoxygenated blood to the lungs the heart has four chambers the top two chambers which are these two these two chambers are known as atrium each chamber each one is known as atrium and the top two collectively are known as atria left atrium and right atrium the bottom two chambers are known as ventricles left ventricle and right ventricle double circulation it is called double circulation because blood passes twice through the heart it passes twice through the heart there are two types of circulation in double circulation namely pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation pulmonary circulation occurs when deoxygenated blood has to be transported to the lungs for oxygenation systemic circulation occurs when blood is pumped to the organs of the body so it's pumped to the system that is why it is called systemic circulation pulmonary circulation is the circulation of deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation and systemic circulation is the circulation of oxygenated blood the blood that has oxygen to the other parts of the body as you can see we have color coded it over here as oxygenated blood is supposedly in red color deoxygenated blood is in blue color so over here your pulmonary circulation is the blue color and systemic circulation is red advantage of double circulation double circulation maintains a high pressure to all the organs so in this case when double circulation occurs especially systemic circulation blood has to be pumped under high pressure to other parts of the body because these parts are far away from the heart so to be able to allow blood to reach every single part of the body we need to maintain high pressure pumping right side of the heart collects blood builds up the pressure and sends it to the lungs but during this process of sending it to the lungs the pressure drops eventually when oxygen goes into the blood by diffusion the blood becomes oxygenated this blood now travels to the left side of the heart and then it travels to the other parts of the body for usage so remember in this case the right side of the heart deals with deoxygenated blood left side of the heart deals with oxygenated blood and over here the partition between the left side and the right side is known as a septum the septum separates the left side and the right side it is a muscular wall that separates the left side and the right side and prevents the deoxygenated and oxygenated blood from mixing right movement of blood through the heart this is really important so we will be going into detail in the next slide but let's just look at the animation here as you can see the first part of the animation shows blood going into the left atrium this is your left this sorry this is your right atrium the blood goes into the right atrium from the body so from the body this is your body let's say it goes into the right atrium then this part opens this part opens and this part is actually the tricuspid valve this is the tricuspid 
valve after which from the right atrium when the blood moves past the tricuspid valve it goes into the right ventricle this is the right ventricle after which it is pumped over here now this is actually a blood vessel this is the pulmonary artery it is the pulmonary artery as artery takes blood away from the heart the next part shows the red color blood which is generally the oxygenated blood oxygenated blood comes to the left atrium the left atrium this valve opens as you can see and this is the tri this is the bicuspid valve this is the bicuspid valve so remember between the left and uh, left atrium and left ventricle there is a bicuspid valve between the right atrium and right ventricle there is a tricuspid valve so left atrium and left ventricle is bicuspid valve right atrium and right a ventricle is tricuspid valve now here is the left ventricle after which blood will move into this this is again a blood vessel over here and this is known as aorta aorta is the largest artery so let's just go through this again in a proper diagram this is one of the animations that you can use for your basic understanding but let's go into the deeper uh, you know understanding of this the actual process of double circulation right so the process of double circulation all starts with pulmonary circulation so pulmonary circulation remember occurs from the right side of the heart so the deoxygenated blood the blood that doesn't have oxygen goes into the right atrium via the superior and inferior vena cava superior and inferior vena cava vena cava is the largest vein largest vein takes the deoxygenated blood to the right atrium now the right atrium will squeeze this squeezes and when it squeezes or when it contracts it forces blood past the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle so this is a little bit difficult let's just go through it again the deoxygenated blood the one without oxygen the blood that doesn't have oxygen goes into the right atrium via the superior and inferior vena cava the right atrium fills up with blood and contracts or squeezes that forces the blood past the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle now when the right ventricle fills up with blood now this has a lot of deoxygenated blood it forces the blood into the semi luna valve which forces the blood into the pulmonary artery so the pressure of the blood in the right ventricle pushes against the semi luna valve and makes it open and then the blood moves into the pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery takes blood away from the heart and to the lungs so the deoxygenated blood goes into the lungs where carbon dioxide is taken out and oxygen comes in this is your pulmonary circulation let's move on to the systemic circulation so before we go on to systemic circulation the oxygenated blood goes to the left atrium via the pulmonary vein veins carry blood towards the heart this carries the blood with oxygen to the heart so the pulmonary vein carries the blood to the left atrium where the left atrium squeezes again or contracts and forces the blood past the bicuspid valve it's called the bicuspid and tricuspid valve because they have two and three cusp respectively so the bicuspid valve has two cusps and the tricuspid valve has three cusps now the blood moves past the left uh, the blood moves past the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle and the left ventricle pushes the blood past the semi luna valve into the aorta the aorta is the largest artery which takes the oxygenated blood 
to the body where the oxygen is used so now the oxygenated blood goes to the rest of the body that is your systemic circulation All right that will be all for today's video i hope you understood the basic concept of heart and its structure as well as how double circulation process occurs if you did like the video please like share and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye